And now for some scenery. I'll probably start with the pit stop here and then the grandstand and then go over here and make those skyscrapers and whatnot. So that's gonna be another uh, time lapse.
Okie dokie, the pit stop area is ready. Might as well uh, go through it before I move on to the uh, roof of the grandstand because it might like end up covering some of this from certain angles. Um, so uh, in between these tracks I added this uh, watch whatever structure thing here. It's like uh, these colors are supposed to represent different teams that are racing in here. And everyone has like two spaces for all kinds of stuff. I uh, put some barrels in there, they could be like oil or gasoline. And then I also put some cauldrons, they could be something as well, but without a lid. Uh, how's the cauldron at? Uh, this one, that thing. And then I also put some graves. <laughs> they could be, uh, I don't know, some spare parts or a, a box for spare parts or something like that. Um, and then I also put the colors on these garage things up here and here. Everyone has at least one garage. This team has two for some reason. <laughs> and I uh, used the uh, car ride for those. Like made small pieces of uh, track there to look like one of those things that where you put a car and then you can raise it. I don't know what that thing is called. Uh, jack lift or forklift, whatever, jack knife, I don't know. Mm. So yeah, those are in there where you can lift your car for service and such. Uh, I didn't put any doors on these because uh, at least in Formula 1 they're usually like open at least for the duration of the race. And wait a minute, was there no one on the ride? I probably complaining about the goddamn price again. I'm not paying that much. I just lowered it before this recording session. God damn it. Vin Diesel is all alone now, except for this guy. He's queuing, so that means the price is good. Uh, and then I also put a gas station here in the end there. And then on this side we have this tower. It's like for the judges of the race, so they can see everything. From there, of course, they also have cameras to watch, but oh well. And it's got signs on it on both sides. They say Nitro Speedway because that could fit the entire ride name in there. Same deal on this side, you can't really see it though. And there's some uh, barrels over there, and then this corner, and these two, and such. And I see a place where I could put another barrel, let's put it right there. Sucks though that I built this uh, spiral here so close, because you can't put any like walls in between these two, this track and this track that is uh, behind the glass roofs there. But it well looks pretty good anyway, with the, um, and when you take into consideration the amount of space I had, it's very limited. Oh uh, well, yeah, I forgot to mention these colors. <laughs> I, I chose them from uh, different Formula One teams, although these are based off like ten years ago. <laughs> when, I la when was the last time that I actually watched a Formula One uh, race? So this red here is like Ferrari. This one is McLaren. This one is uh, uh, Benetton, I think. And this one is the old McLaren colors before they changed to that. And then this one, I don't even remember what team had yellow, but there was one team that had it, and this is not from uh, the Formula 1, this is the Saints Row team. <laughs> they got their own team in there. Racing, and what the fuck is going on now? One of the cars is broken, yeah, <laughs> they're all parking up there. Uh, but anyway, that is the pit stop. I'm trying to think if there's something that I forgot. Oh yeah, there's some... Uh, Pathways there and the one here, but it sucks though that I can't put anything on them because then they would be like blocking the entrance to those uh, what you call it, garages, like that. At least it looks like asphalt, more more than the uh, rock the rock layer that is underneath it. probably it for the pitch stop. Soon I'm gonna start doing some kind of roof on this thing. I have no idea how to do it yet, but I'll figure it out as I go along.
Okay, the grandstand roof is finished, so let's go over it, uh, literally, let's start from above it. Uh, so I used these, uh, slanted roofs, the jungle one and the mining one. Actually, at first it was only the jungle one, but then at the last moment I decided to do a checkerboard pattern here, which matches the, uh, turbo theme and the ride itself very well. Uh, it's got wooden walls, which I also colored on this part uh, with different browns to make it checkerboard like and then it's supported by these uh, poles uh, on the sides here and also some in the middle there to make like different sections of the uh, uh, stands there oh yeah and this row here is uh, some glass panels and whatnot and they could be solar uh, panels or something, I don't know. Just a little nice detail there. It sucks though that there's no like uh, this shaped uh, abstract roof because that would have been good for this thing. Uh, anyway, it's got a bunch of signs around it. Over here it says Nitro Speedway. At first I tried to make it like so that the uh, Upper uh, row would be nitrous oxide, and then the lower row would be speedway, but it didn't work because <laughs> you can you can use like uh, spaces to move these around a bit. I mean, it works here. I can move the nitro easily that way, but if I add a second word here, I can't really like move it as well. It's a little bit shorter. Alright, did I keep opening the wrong one? This one... Uh, it's like if I add spaces here I can move it to the right, but I can't move it to the left. Mm, maybe if I add a lot of spaces there... Oh yeah, it does work, huh? Hmm, maybe it could be possible then, let's see. 